Tonight, health officials are confirming a new variant of the coronavirus. The variant was first detected in Peru and quickly spread through South America. It's now been detected at a hospital in Houston. Data on the Lambda variant is currently limited, though it's been designated as a variant of interest by the World Health Organization. Meanwhile, the one we're most commonly hearing about now is the Delta variant. It is still on the rise nationally and even right here in the state. Researchers in Arizona say that we're starting to see evidence of another wave. Fox 10's Bailey Miller joins us live from the ASU Biodesign Institute with more on this story tonight. Bailey. Yeah, Mark, part of the reason researchers say that there is a surge here in the state is because we have a low vaccination rate, but also they're adding because people are vaccinated now, it may not be as bad as what we've seen before. We're seeing an uptick in hospitalization. We're seeing an uptick in ICU. Eventually that will translate into uptick in death. Researchers at ASU's Biodesign Institute are once again tracking COVID cases very closely due to the recent rise in cases. Now on average, we're reaching about 1,000 cases a day. Before, a seven-day rolling average was just about five to 600 cases back at the very beginning of July. It's different from the previous waves, uh, different because it's primarily occurring among the unvaccinated. Um, that's who is mostly getting infected now, although certainly some people uh, who've been either vaccinated or previously infected are also getting cases, but they are not nearly as symptomatic. Dr. Joshua LaBear says the reason for this surge, the Delta variant, the low vaccination rate here in the state, and adding that now because it's hot here in the state, people are staying indoors, and that means it's easier to pass along the virus. But the prediction is with this new surge, it won't be as bad as what we've seen. Because a lot of the population has been vaccinated, there's less likelihood of overwhelming the medical system as we saw in earlier waves. So uh, right now there's plenty of availability for beds in hospitals. Now, researchers do believe the Delta variant is now the dominant variant here in the state. And as far as vaccination rates go, 51% of Arizonans have gone at least one shot. Reporting live here in Phoenix, I'm Bailey Miller, Fox 10 News.